When I think of Outlook, I think of a story that happened to me when I got my first camcorder. It was a huge affair and I had to balance it on my shoulder to make sure that I could shoot whatever was going on. So when our family went to watch our oldest son and he was uh, running cross country, I was excited about the opportunity of shooting Nathan as he went by. Here he came down the slopes of a golf course and as he came through these slopes, I was yelling, go Nathan, go, 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 go. And then we walked to another place on the golf course and here he came again, go Nathan, go, 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 go. Walked to another place, turned it on again until he got to the end and I caught the finish with a stirring uh, sprint for 78th place. When we got home, I looked at the video and I noticed the start was fine, but after that it was just grass sky, grass sky, grass sky. And then there was a picture of somebody's leg. And I could hear people talking in the background. There was a picture of trees. And then I realized what had happened. I'd gotten out of sequence so that when Nathan came around, I turned off the camcorder until he passed, and then I turned it on again and walked. Grass sky, grass sky, grass sky, and held it at somebody's leg for a while. Is it possible that we can get out of sequence so that in our outlook on life, we mistake the urgent for the important? Because, you know, the important is seldom urgent, and the urgent is seldom important. Enjoy the journey.